on forklift for baby trucks being run out of here. For the last decade, Heinrichs has documented all aspects of the shark fin trade. From the definning of whole sharks in the small fishing villages of Indonesia, to the unloading of bag after bag of frozen fins from the hold of a fishing boat in Taiwan. We opened up one of the bags and we estimated about 60 fins in that bag. So doing some quick math, that adds up to about 7,200 fins. But what happened to the shark that once was attached to these fins? Heinrichs knows that amidst all these statistics, the issue of shark finning can be reduced to just one powerful image. He shot this rare video at what was supposed to be a marine sanctuary off the coast of Indonesia. What you're looking at here is some of the only footage in the world of the true consequences of shark finning. That is a nurse shark a fin nurse shark, still alive because it's able to actually push water over its gills, now dying on a reef. A shark needs to swim to breathe, passing water and oxygen over their gills. Without their fins, they lay motionless at the bottom of the sea, where it can sometimes take weeks to die. But when Heinrichs panned the camera around, you can see this shark is not alone. The ocean floor was littered with the bodies of small sharks, all with their fins sheared off. Anywhere there's a fisherman out in the sea with a hook in the water, if they just take that shark, slice the fins off of it, and stick it in their hold, they have gold. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.